This post contains mild spoilers for The Green Knight. In The Green Knight, Sir Gawain, a smoldering Dev Patel, embarks on a quest to receive a blow from a mystical knight whom he beheaded one year prior. As the tale goes, Sir Gawain must journey from his home to the Green Chapel, the faraway place where the Green Knight set up the second half of their beheading game. Along the way, Sir Gawain stumbles upon a series of obstacles, each more dangerous and beguiling than the last in writer-director David Lowry's utterly fantastical treatment of the original 14th century poem. One such obstacle arrives in the form of a mysterious ghost, who wakes up Sir Gawain when he tries to sleep in her abandoned home. The ghost is Winifred Aaron Calliman, a religious icon who is not part of the original poem, an iconic well named in her honor is mentioned in it, though, which inspired Lowry to weave her story into the legend. In the film, Sir Gawain, exhausted and half-mad, stumbles upon her lakeside home and realizes it's empty. He carries himself to the bedroom and falls asleep, until Lady Winifred wakes him up, inquiring about his intrusion. But she does not want him to leave. Instead, she has a favor to ask, can Sir Gawain retrieve her head from the lake? It's then that Gawain realizes the lady might be of the spiritual realm. He puts his hand out to touch her, but she stops him. What are you doing? She asks sternly, a surprising moment of comic relief and a pivot on convention. The cookie-cutter version of this film would have seen Gawain put his hand right through her ghostly visage, scream, and bolt out of there like a cartoon character. Lady Winifred's reticence, though, is connected to the trauma of her gruesome death. She reveals that a local prince tried to rape her, then broke into her home in the middle of the night and beheaded her as she lay in her bed, later tossing her head into the water. Her narrative runs parallel to Gawain's, she too is an unwitting victim of a beheading game, albeit of a different, much darker sort. Lowry's version of this story is based on the real story of St. Winifred of Wales, a 7th century woman who was pursued by a prince named Caradog. As the tale goes, around the year 630, Winifred attempted to escape him by fleeing to her uncle's church. Caradog pursued her and cut off her head. In the legend, a natural spring shot up in the place where her head fell. Then Lady Winifred's uncle, Saint Bino, emerged from the church and put her head back on her body, miraculously bringing her back to life. The ground then opened up and swallowed Caradog. The legend of Saint Winifred was captured and popularized in 1138 by Prior Robert of Shrewsbury, who wrote about her life. She was effectively a Welsh super saint whose cult extended beyond the Welsh border, said Jane Cartwright, a professor at the University of Wales Trinity St David who is editing a translation of the saint's life, in a 2016 interview with the BBC.